since the last time we finished our deck framing and we started framing our staircase and we're continuing to do that right now. We need to finish pouring concrete. Um, we're putting in the lower outside rim joists and we're gonna be adding some blocking in between the centers of our footings and also up the way to enable us to create a pattern for the miters on the staircase. After that, we've started to lay some of the deck boards down on the deck and then we will start to install the decking. We have a couple of panels that we have to create still. And then as we get further along, we'll start um, cutting some of the ends of the decks deck off to uh, create the ends of the deck has a couple notches in it that go like that. So we'll get that buttoned up and then uh, keep laying decking. So uh, for our stairs, uh, we need something to support it. Instead of pouring a, a long trough of concrete, we run a two by eight on the outside of our staircase and then every three or four feet, we add a footing, uh, just like we would a deck that holds it up. On top of every beam that we have, you'll see some mid-span pressure blocking. And what that does is it goes in between the joists and it sits on the beam and then it's nailed through the ends of the joist and it, help keeps, it helps and it helps keep the, and it helps keep the deck from rocking in like an earthquake situation and also keeps our joists nice and straight and, and tight. So it helps sturdy the deck, keeps it from rocking back and forth. Uh, we do it on every single project. What's happening with these? Uh, these are the posts we're using to support the um, outside of our staircase or the bottom of our staircase. So I'm going to cut all these lengths and then um, I'm gonna wrap them in G-tape, the part that's going in the concrete. It'll protect the post from rotting. If I wrap uh, anything that goes below the surface of the concrete, uh, usually the first place that rots is where the concrete stops and then it's exposed where the moisture gets to it. So if I wrap the post then um, and leave the top open so it can breathe, this part won't rot. difference between this and this? Vicor and G-Tape? Uh, yeah, this is an acrylic based tape. It's actually a little bit higher performing tape, uh, but mostly for different applications. This stuff's great when we're just burying things in the ground, but I had a 12 inch piece and a six inch piece I needed. Instead of using two 12s and overlapping six inches and wasting money, I went ahead and just wrapped the bottom half in 12 and then uh, the top half in six. Uh, this is G-Tape, this is um, Vicor. So basically anything that'll protect the post is better than nothing at all. So that's what we're after is just trying to get a, a something that we can bury in the ground and then not have it rot. All right, so one of the biggest differences between uh, G-Tape and Vicor is that uh, Vicor is an asphalt ba based membrane tape. And if you, if the wind comes up and this stuff touches, you cannot pull it apart. So once you touch it to itself, you're done. So you have a lot of issues. You have to, everything, every time you cut this stuff, you have to cut it with a knife. This is not coming apart. So that piece you throw away. With G-Tape, it's an acrylic-based acrylic tape. You're able to peel it and stick it and pull it apart. So it will not stick to itself like Vicor does. It's very sticky, but you can touch it and it takes itself apart. So we like it because it doesn't stick to itself and it tears really easy so you're not using a blade so much. So those are the two main differences between Vicor and G-Tape. So right now I'm capping, capping the bottom of the post off because it's gonna be sitting on top of concrete in the hole. And I'm not, I'm not totally encapsulating the entire post. We're still letting the top part of it breathe. So moisture can escape and all that, but we're just covering the section that's gonna be buried under the ground.
staples great. Sometimes when you put ingrain solution on a board, it's still wet and it won't stick as well. So I just add a couple staples here and there. Or just to make sure that something stays put, I like to put a staple in it. But uh, in the summertime, it's usually not necessary because everything sticks so well. You can kind of see like this, it's just barely being held on. I'm gonna wrap it again, but it's bar barely being held on by this little bit of tape, but it's enough because it's dry, it's enough for it to stick. But a lot of times it may not stick and then I, like this part of the board's pretty wet, so I don't know if it's gonna stick. Um, so I might just drop a couple staples in it just to hold it and tack it in place. So right now I'm just um, we're filling the hole full of concrete and I'm making sure that the concrete gets all the way around the post inside the hole so it uh, has good support. And then um, we're smoothing out the tops and then that'll be finished. We can let that cure and then we'll move on to some other task. Do you have any tips for pouring concrete? Huh. I'm not really the world's best concrete guy. Um, not really. I, I like to I like to mix my concrete a little thicker than thinner. Um, when we're doing a pour where the poster in the ground, sometimes we'll make it a little wet so that it, it can flow around it and get a good adhesion to all sides of the post. Um, you don't want air pockets in your concrete. We do have a concrete vibrator, but we didn't bring it today. Um, I didn't think we were gonna need it for these. Uh, sometimes we do that, we compact the concrete when we're pouring our footings for our deck. But today it's just uh, just the footings on the stairs, so it's not as crucial. Um, it's not holding as much weight as the deck. I usually buy my concrete at either a um, lumber yard or at a home center, like uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. And we're usually buying it by the pallet. So um, usually it's a brand called Quickcrete. That's what's available to us in this uh, area. There's another brand, um, I forget the name of it right now, that we get at a different lumber yard. Uh, it's pretty good as well. It's like a six sack uh, mix, which I like to use a six sack mix over a five sack mix when I can. A little creamier, it finishes off a little bit nicer. Like I said before, I'm not really a concrete finisher, but I try to make my footings look nice whenever I can. All right, so we've uh, finished pouring concrete for our staircase, and now we are going to finish blocking some areas that we need to block in and add support for. Uh, we're gonna add some support for some staircase railing as well. And then once that's done, we'll probably focus on uh, laying the decking. What board is this? This is a two by 12 pressure treated. And it's for? Mostly for stair jacks, and I'm using it as a, a uh, for some center blocking on the staircase right now. So I needed some wider material to do that with. So that's what I'm using it for. What you're working on just for like added support or something? Yeah, it's for when the stairs come across and you can either miter them right here or we'll stagger them. But I gotta have this block in here for the support of the stair treads when we go to lay this staircase down. Yeah, half the, halfway done. Any commentary on that? Um, anytime you're doing something custom or special, 
it usually takes more time than if you're just cutting squares. So uh, it's something I knew would have to happen and it just took a minute to get it done. I still have another one to go, but I should be able to pick up a little bit of speed this time. This stair took longer to finish than I thought. That's what I think. Um, sometimes I don't put enough forethought into what I'm doing and, oh yeah, that's just a piece of cake. Or I know this is gonna suck to do, but I don't really think about how long it might take. But um, we're through the hard part now, so now it's just got all the blocking in and we're just gonna finish taping things up. And then this staircase is pretty much done. Phil got the, um, the blocking for the upper deck railing done. So that's cool. And uh, we actually might get some deck boards laid today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Tomorrow we're gonna start laying the decking and cut in some access panels and then continue decking until we have this baby finished up. Uh, if you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified of further build projects, please Click the bell icon as well. Thank you very much and have a great day.